Vietnam War, a woman was killed, leaving her husband to take care for their five-year-old son. To make a living, the man started a business which required some very long journeys. He would have to leave his son with his neighbors, sometimes for months. After a long journey, he returned to find his village destroyed not finding any survivors, he went from house to house until inside one burned out house he found the bones of a child, assuming the bones were his son's he placed them in a small bag and carried them with him wherever he went. And the years passed by. One evening, there was a, a loud and frantic knock at the door. Anxious and frightened, the man asked from inside his house, Who is there? The response came, I am your son. Now, after carrying many years of his son's bones, the man could not believe. So he shouted from inside his house, Go away! My son is dead. The young man outside shouted back and said, When our village was attacked, I was kidnapped, but now I got free and found you. Go away, said the man. Do not mock me in my grief. So the son went away. The son was rejected for a bag of bones. Rejection is a painful word, one that we encounter in various forms throughout our lives. And in today's Gospel, Jesus too speaks of rejection. But this rejection is not just about human misunderstanding is about rejecting God's message and his messengers. In the parable, the landowner represents God. The vineyard symbolizes Israel. The servant represents the prophets. And the son represent Jesus. And the tenants are the religious leaders. And the religious leaders have already contemned themselves with their answer to Jesus' question about what the landowner will do 
to the wicked tenants. They unknowingly pass judgment upon themselves. <coughs> And the gospel teaches us the importance of listening to God's word. God communicates with us through various channels. Scripture, our church tradition, and the teachings. Are we open and receive, receptive to God's word? Are we attentive to the message he sends us? Or do we, like the man in the story, cling to our preconceived notions and reject it? We are reminded that rejection, whether of God's word or of one another, can lead to spiritual destruction. We must strive to open our hearts and minds to receive God's message and to embrace one another in love and understanding. Just as the young man in the story was rejected for a bag of bones, we risk missing out on the richness of God's grace and his kingdom if we hold on to our stubbornness and prejudices. Let us resolve to be receptive and listen intently to God's word and to recognize his messengers among us. May we be open to the unexpected ways God works in our lives and the lives of others. It said, God moves in mysterious ways, hidden ways, to perform his wonders in our lives. In this Eucharist, let's pray for the grace to be open to God's word and let go of our prejudices, our preconceived notions and to embrace the message of love and reconciliation that Christ brings to us. May we never reject his message, but instead become bearers of his good news to the world and to one another. May God bless us abundantly. Amen.